Hey everyone, welcome back to Ali Bakes. I'm Eliza Saw, and today I decided to do something fun and exciting. And by fun and exciting, I mean I ordered some snacks. Do I have chip stuff on my face? Basically, I was doing a workout, being healthy, and then while I was just resting, I went on Instagram and then I found that one of my friends ordered some snacks from this place called Veni Go Mart, and they do free delivery on stuff over $30, so I was like, why don't I just buy $30 worth of snacks? And it arrived literally the next day, and I'm just gonna show you each and every snack that I got and we're gonna talk about it, we're gonna taste it. I've got some bubble tea. I haven't had bubble tea since early March, so I don't know if you can tell, I'm a little hyper. <laughs> I'm feeling good. Let's do this, let's just crack into it. Before we get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I do food-related baking videos pretty much every week, so yeah, let's get on with it. Because I've ordered so many snacks, I've decided I'm gonna go from savory to sweets because sweets got a special place in my heart. I'm pretty familiar with some of these brands. Some of these brands I've never heard of and I'm honestly, I kind of just impulse bought and you get to see all of it. Starting off, we've got Japanese steak flavored Cheetos. So I'm just gonna open it up and give it a taste. It smells good. The chips are actually not as orange as they usually are, I guess because it's not just cheese flavored. This is so exciting. So it still tastes like Cheetos, but it's just got like a slightly less cheesy flavor and a little bit more savoriness to it. If I were to eat this not knowing the flavor, I probably wouldn't have guessed Japanese steak. Although I still like it. I'm gonna rate it out of five. And since this is the first one, it's gonna be the toughest. I'm gonna go with three out of five. Moving on. Oh, I need clips. Couldn't find clips, so bobby pins will do. <laughs> you have to preserve your snack if you wanna enjoy it later on. Okay, so now we've got these potato chips, which are uni flavored. I've never actually tried it, and I plan to after lockdown is over. For now, potato chips will do. So let's try it out. I love when they add chips to my ear. <laughs> smells a little cheesy and a little fishy. It smells good. It kind of reminds me of Ruffles. Cheers. <laughs> got a very mild slightly sweet flavor and then the aftertaste it's like a little a little oily a little a little bitter a little fishy but pretty pleasant overall the flavor is really mild i can't say if the flavor is close to uni or not because i've never actually had it i would rate it a 3.75 out of 5 mostly because i like the texture better than cheetos that's kind of what i'm basing it off of next so while we're at it i'm just gonna give you guys a little wedding update obviously we were supposed to get married in june but things are being postponed because we are almost in May. It's just not enough time to really prepare and have everything ready. And it still might be dangerous to have large gatherings around June. So postponing it. So here's the first lace flavor that I bought. And I'm saying first because I bought like three or four. <laughs> but this one is grilled eel flavor. Mmm. I love grilled eel. Just so good. Ooh. Smells a little bit like barbecue, lovely flavors. Someone once told me when I was smaller that if you picked up a folded chip without looking at it and eating it, it was good luck and you could make a wish. Whoa. Mmm. So far the most surprising flavor of all. It's actually pretty strong. It definitely tastes a little bit like nori, like seaweed and eel. Like, I'm definitely getting that grilled eel flavor. Ooh, I'm gonna rate that. I don't wanna go too high yet. 4.5 out of 5. All right, moving on. So this one is lace cucumber flavor. I've had 
dill pickle flavor many many times before it's super common in grocery stores but cucumber flavor is this chip gonna be refreshing am i gonna want to put this in my water or something we'll find out it kind of smells like like cucumber <laughs> no shit. it oddly smells juicy this is the most excited i've been in weeks there's the chip it's just like it's such a juicy refreshing cucumber flavor and it's really tripping me out <laughs> whoa wow i wish we had this flavor more available than dill pickle i feel like dill pickle sometimes is a little too like a little too sour a little too abrasive to my mouth but this one's like actually a really nice refreshing chip we're doing great. All these snacks are really blowing my mind. Oh, I forgot to rate that one. So that one is, uh, mm -mm. it's weird. It almost leaves like a, like a coolness in my mouth. That cooling sensation you, you get when you drink like cold water, have a little bit of mint. Um, I'm going to rate this one also 4.5 out of 5. So on to the next lace. I love the packaging on this one. It's just so bright and colorful look at the little shrimpies so if you haven't guessed already this one is shrimp and scallop and i love shrimp i love scallops we're just gonna try it out um i'm expecting this one to taste like the shrimp chips that most asians just have in their household <laughs> Ooh! wow okay it smells kind of like it smells kind of like barbecue shrimp to me or like grilled shrimp it has like a definitely like a like a shrimpy f smell <laughs> it's just like bringing all these memories of like captain's boil and like peeling shrimp and like grilled shrimp and like hawaii oh. hawaii yeah smells great mm. Mm, honey Ooh. i actually feel like i just put a crispy shrimp into my mouth like the flavor of shrimp is really strong and the scallop too wow lace you are outdoing yourself you're doing so good it's like a little like it's got a little spice to it not spicy but like a little bit of spice to it like a nicely seasoned grilled shrimp and scallop good really good amazing i'm gonna rate it 4.7 i don't want to give it a five over five out of five just yet i just we have we have so much to go through next so this is the last lace chip that I bought. The picture was actually a little misleading because I'm used to the Pringles canisters that we have here in Canada and they're usually about like this big and like this wide. The flavor is super interesting. It is purple yam and coconut in chips. Let's see how I like it. Pop this baby open. Oh, interesting, okay. So I've never actually seen like a canister come with a little container like this before. Innovative exciting just smells like a chip will i taste the purple yam and the coconut let's see yeah definitely taste it that's kind of weird <laughs> the coconut flavor really hits you and then the aftertaste of the yam really comes through <gasps> you know what it kind of reminds me of the stickos I ate that all the time as a kid i liked it I wouldn't probably get it again just because I think I'm more of a savory person for chips. I will rate this one a 3 out of 5. Alright, moving on. So this is the potato chips that is in takoyaki flavor and it's made by Jack and Jill and I'm pretty sure Jack and Jill makes this Filipino snack that my parents love and I think it's Ding Dong. Let me do a quick search. Oh, that is not what I was searching for. Ding dong snack. <laughs> this is the snack that I was looking for. Jack and Jill piatos. Yeah, I forgot. So let's rip this baby open. There's another little pocket in here. Flavoring? So I empty this into this and then I add in the flavor packet and then I shake it. I'm wondering why they don't just give it to you already made but whatever Ooh. that's my workout for today so i think the potato chips in here are just plain 
add in the flavor. Oh, it's all just powder. Close it up, give it a shake. Shake, 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 shake your booty. It smells really sweet. Yeah, okay, I could see the flavor. I could like taste, I can see the flavor. <laughs> Although this one was kind of underwhelming, I feel like with the preparation and I wouldn't say the flavor is really strong. I don't know. This one was kind of underwhelming. I think I will give it a 2.75 out of 5 because it still tastes good. I mean, you can't go wrong with chips. <laughs> I saved this chip for last out of the chips because look at that face. Should I be afraid? Should I have 911 on standby? Um, so these chips are super spicy apparently and so this one was kind of like my wild card I decided to get these spicy chips because Why not? Why not buy a bag of chips that look like it's going to kill me? I do pretty well with heat. So Let's see <laughs> Oh interesting, so the chippies inside aren't regular flat potato chips. They're kind of like potato ringlets. Yep, it smells like a hot pepper. I'm scared. Why did I do this to myself? Okay, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, it wasn't as spicy as I was expecting. <laughs> it's definitely spicy, but I guess because it's a small bite, it doesn't really do much. You know what? I like this. I would say 3.5 out of 5. I guess if you just keep eating it, it'll just get hotter and hotter. That was most of it. So now we're finally moving on to the so now we're gonna move on to the sweet stuff. And I actually didn't buy too many sweet stuff. I was trying to go for things that I've never tasted and really just wanna expand my horizon, if you know what I mean? It's always good to keep an open mind, try new things, life lessons with Eliza. So I got these Oreos. Exciting. I have no idea what it looks like. I don't know what it tastes like, so I decided to get it. Question, do you say lychee or lychee? I think it's lychee, but I grew up my whole life saying lychee, so I feel like I'm saying it wrong every time, but comment below, lychee or lychee. Let's open this baby up. <gasps> oh my gosh, so cute. I was expecting like a whole thing to come out, like a whole long log, but it's just two little packages in here. Look at that. Hmm. <gasps> Oh, it's so pretty. I never thought I'd say that about an Oreo cookie. So here it is. Looks like the standard Oreo from the front and back, but when you look in the center, it's twisted open. It smells like lychee, 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 lychee. And I do get the little hints of rose. This is gonna be interesting. I've never actually had this flavor pairing before. Okay, wait, hello? I'm trying to open. Look at that. Pink Oreo filling. Super floral, tastes like rose and lychee. I've never had that flavor combination, but I'm glad I've tried it. It's good together, that's for sure. Now with the chocolate cookie. Surprisingly, the chocolate kind of overpowers it. So it is a very delicate flavor. So together, the rose and the lychee is kind of just like a little hint in the back. Pleasantly surprised. So the cookie on its own is your average Oreo shell. Um, wow, actually that's it. Some honorable mentions that I'm not gonna try right now. I got some peach oolong tea. Save that for later. Then I also got these noodles. But I'm, I'm probably gonna try it later tonight. I just learned that this pork bone ramen is made with Berkshire black pigs, which are exclusive to Kagoshima in Japan. It's super creamy, very flavorful. I definitely recommend. That concludes all the, oh wait. <gasps> I was about to get really sad, but then I realized I also got this, the roasted green tea Kit Kat. <laughs> oh my gosh, have I been forgetting to rate? Where did I stop? So for the Oreos, I loved it. It was very surprising. I love regular Oreos, but to add like these extra flavors into it, it was a winner in my books. So I'm going to rate that a 4.5 out of 5. Now I'm gonna try these Kit Kats. So there's like little singles inside the bag. This is the color. Oh, 
from afar it smells kind of like earthy but then once you get a nice deep inhale uh, you know what i could sniff this and just be okay with the rest of my day like i don't even have to eat it i could just all day and now i'm gonna try it out for this one i'd say it might be just a little too sweet maybe it's just the flavor of the wafer and the chocolate kind of just overtakes i had high expectations maybe a little too high but i'm gonna rate this one a a, a three out of five so now we finally concluded so I hope you enjoyed that video and if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments if you've tried these snacks and what you think of them, what you rate them out of 5, and any snacks that I should try. So I'm just going to bring all these snacks down, enjoy it with my family, and thank you for watching. I'll see you all next week. Bye! <laughs> I'm surrounded by chips.